New tonight, a family of firefighters remembering their friend and colleague, Nikki Sullivan. They believe the 15-year veteran of the Mesa Fire Department developed breast cancer because of her job. As Team 12's Lisa Nico shows us, they're calling for changes in protocol for fire departments across the state. Nikki's family says she passed away last night, and while they believe that her job as a Mesa firefighter led to her getting breast cancer, they say what she loved most was the fresh air out here in Apache Junction. Tell her. And I watched her fight this for five years. She is an, an amazing fireman, an amazing woman. It's a somber day at the Sullivan home. Loved ones rallied together to remember the Mesa firefighter's devotion to her friends, her family, and her career. I've watched my, you know, one of my very dearest friends fight it for the last five years. And of course, it was, it's always in, it's always in the front of your mind when you're watching your loved one go through it. The 15-year veteran firefighter retired from the department when she was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer back in August of 2014. It had spread to her brain, bone, liver. Her friends and family believe breathing in smoke from chemicals from fires over her career led to her cancer. Without a doubt, I feel that, and she felt the same way that she contracted her cancer through her job. Fellow firefighter Jenny Reeder says Nikki's diagnosis brought attention to the potentially hazardous materials first responders breathe in. Since her diagnosis, the Mesa Fire Department keeps their firefighters from going to other calls until they shower and their gear is cleaned of possible contaminants. There has been a lot of attention brought to what, what we are um, exposing ourselves to. Lisa Nico, 12 News.